from that point on, if you look at what was going on in the uh, legislature, the Democrats were always pushing towards uh, things that would go, uh, they were trying to reverse Reagan's trickle down, as they called it, and they were trying to build it more from the ground up. And I believe that a lot of what has been signed by the Congress, and especially this thing with these mortgages, were trying to get, rightfully or wrongfully, trying to get money in the pockets of the people in the uh, in, in the poorer uh, parts of the country. And we were always looking at uh, enterprise zones and everything. But I think McCain has to show that. I'll stop you on that point. Uh, Dave Winston, did you want to respond? And then we'll get Anna Greenberg. Well, I... I, I, I sort of agree with the caller in, in the sense, I mean, I will tell you that one of the things Republicans have not done particularly well is respond to this, to the root cause of what happened in terms of this financial crisis. Uh, the bottom line is, is the reason all these subprime loans came to an existence was the result of social policy, where what um, the, the Clinton administration in the late 90s was trying to do was expand um, the number of loans going to um, lower middle class income families, and there was inherent risk involved in that, and when it occurred, people recognized that. John Snow, the Republican sec uh, Treasury Secretary, um, five years ago, proposed massive reg regulation on Fannie Mae, uh, and was opposed by Barney Frank in that particular effort. And so, uh, what's happened is it's been this discussion about was it regulation, and in fact, Republicans were suggesting that, and really, what it was was the outcomes of sort of social policy trying to expand these loans um, to lower middle class and creating a bunch of risky loans that eventually f fell through. And that's been an unfortunate element in terms of Republicans not putting that point forward. Well, I mean, let's just start with the caller's premise. I mean, the Congress and the presidency have all been controlled until 2006 by the Republican Party. So the notion that somehow since, you know, since 2000 and since 9-11, Democratic policies have somehow led to this economic crisis seems a little, that, that in the House and the Senate seems a little strange since actually Republicans were in control of both those, those houses. I think it's a little bit of a, it's, it's to sort of blame this on, you know, Poor people taking out loans is a little bit of a, no, you know, it's it's <laughs> well that's did, where did the, that's where the Republican that's where the Republican line has been going. I mean, the fact is there's been no, massive changes in, in in regulation and oversight, and while there's no doubt that individual borrowers need to be responsible, and too many loans went to people who couldn't afford them, at the same time there's been almost no oversight of this industry. And so, I mean, look, we're not economists, and we shouldn't get into a debate about no, but but, it, but, 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 the I'm, but I'm going to fire back on this one because if I may, I'm going to read a quote from Barney Frank in the middle of this back in 2003, where he said. That these two entities, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, are not facing any kind of financial crisis. The more people exaggerate these problems, the more pressure there is on these companies, the less we will see in terms of affordable housing. I mean, what that's clearly saying is he didn't, he was more concerned about the social policy than the economic outcome. Dave Winston is a Republican pollster. He's also a columnist for Roll Call and can be seen on CBS News. Anna Greenberg, in addition to her polling for Democratic organizations and candidates, is also a research fellow at American University's Center for Congressional and Presidential Studies.